What's up guys and welcome to the first interactive web pages tutorial using Spry. Um, by now if you've been watching my tutorials you're probably uh, getting familiar with Spry and um, you've noticed that it, it does a lot of a lot of sophisticated programming for you. Um, what Spry is is it's a technology that was developed by Adobe and it's been distributed freely actually you can go to the Adobe Labs website at labs.adobe.com slash technologies slash spry to read more about it but it's officially called the spry framework for Ajax and it's a collection of JavaScript programs that you as a web developer or a web designer you can offer sophisticated control of a web page to your visitors through widgets effects and data sets and basically what we're going to start looking at in this next group or this next series of tutorials is what else that Spry has to offer us as web designers. So, in this first tutorial, we're going to go over what are called tabbed panels. And I guess the best way to describe a tabbed panel is basically a a web page or a panel that has different tabs at the top that you can move in and out of without actually leaving the web page so it's all in the one specific HTML document and so let's let's get started in creating some tabbed panels to get started all we need to do is go over here um, I changed uh, my sp not forms it's not forms anymore it's actually spry um, so we can see all of the different spry elements that are inside Dreamweaver. So the first thing we're going to do is click on spry tabbed panels. And you can see that it just imported a fair amount of code. Um, it imported this parent div. It's called tab panels 1. And it also created this unordered list and another div called tab panels content group so what's going on here is let's look at it in the browser so we can see what what we have done we have created two tabs that each have content inside of them and you can see that there's that blue color there because I was just messing with it before I started this tutorial and changing a few of the colors and so now that we've created our tabs I'm going to show you how to customize them, how to edit them, and make them look a bit more stylish or a bit more customized. So let's go over here and look inside of our CSS styles and make sure that all is selected. And you can see that you can scroll through each individual style and you can see this is where the the color of the text came from. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to black. Save that. I'm going to run that again. Make sure that I... There we go. See, you can see now that that text is black. So I'm going to go in, and before I do this, I'm going to add one more tab here, and that's as easy as clicking on the parent div and clicking on this plus down here, and it'll add in a tab for us and you can see that it added it in the middle of tab 1 and tab 2 um, we actually control the text of our tab right here and we control the content right here and all of the the styles are controlled in our CSS so you can see that with a little tiny bit of code um, not including the CSS that this is a pretty powerful little tool that is very user friendly inside of Dreamweaver it's as easy as just clicking on our spry tab panels and adding a few panels and then changing the content to whatever you want to change it to and that is basically how you define and create some tabbed panels I'm not going to go into detail on on what we can change here uh, we've already gone through a lot of the CSS styles in the past tutorials um, if you are unfamiliar with what all these CSS styles mean, then I recommend that you go back in time and check out all of the CSS tutorials 
that were done in this Dreamweaver CS4 series of tutorials. In the next tutorial we're going to be going over the Spry Accordion. So make sure that you guys stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.